Greetings, fellow Uber Grace travellers. It's great to, well, I kind of say see you, but you know I can't, but it's a nice thing to say. So I'm going to say it. First few verses of the actual Bible. The story of creation. And I don't want to talk today about whether it's true or not, whether it really happened like that or not. The important thing as ever is that we don't get lost in the details, we get found in what is it saying to us. And the very first verses of the scriptures, the whole 66 books of it, starts with the idea of being nothing but just spirit. And then that spirit speaks and physical world, physicality is, is created from that spirit. The very first verses and actually the way the Hebrew is written, uh, even the first six words, I think it is, talk about first in the spirit, then into the physical. And right at the beginning of the story of our doings, our, our, our minglings with the divine, minglings with the divine, that could be my book. Um, the very first few verses, sections, whatever, it's talking about how it's the spirit. It starts in the spirit and it moves into the physical. And this is the gospel, right? This is it. We all have this spirit within us, Christ within us. Other people call it different things. We call it Christ within us, okay? This incredible glory, weighty, spiritual force within us that's right deep within us and Jesus said from the innermost being will flow rivers of living water right through from beginning to end we have this picture of flowing of newness of spirit giving birth to physical every one of you guys has got spirit you've got Christ within you and all you need to start doing just imagine just imagine what your life would look like if you were fully flowing in this incredible life with God and that's your first steps into realizing this life if you need freedom today just imagine what you would look like and your life would be like and what it would feel like if you were completely free. Don't use that to depress yourself, but use that to just have a look in your imagination. Start sowing those seeds in your heart of your utter freedom, because it's from within your depth of you, what the scientists now might call your subconscious, what in the Bible they call it the heart of man. Right in the depths of you, just start imagining how awesome it would be to have that freedom. If lack, financial lack has been your thing, if health has been your problems, just imagine what life would be like if you were completely, fully healthy. Imagine what it'd be like if you were completely without any money worries at all. I've been thinking like this for the last two months. My, my blood sugars are coming down, my weight is going down, my income in the shop is going up. I'm kingdom within me is being released. Remember, we have been given everything we need for life and godliness. Remember, Ephesians 1, 3, we've been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Where are those heavenly places? They're in here. They're absolutely in here. And we can start releasing these things by just imagining them and just starting to speak out the reality of how it feels like and what it looks like. Wonderful stuff. Right from the first verse in the Bible, this truth is known. It's wonderful. Hope you have an oobalicious day starting to have fun imagining these things. First thing in the morning, get up and have a think. Because God is able to able, able, God isn't able. God is able to do incredibly, immeasurably more than you can think or ask. Wowzers. Start thinking. It's good stuff. See you in the next one. Don't forget to thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, like, share, comment, whatever. It'd be great to hear from you. Bye now.
See you soon.